Now you go into Jordan and the first thing you don't want to miss is Petra. Petra is a famous archaeological site in Jordan's southwestern desert and it's dating back to around 300 BC. It was the capital of the Nabataean kingdom and it's a really beautiful place with these really impressive caves carved into the stone. Now it's accessed via a narrow canyon called Al Sik. That's also the one where Indiana Jones was running along so you can play Indiana Jones. And what did you find, Junior? Now Petra contains tombs and temples carved into pink sandstone cliffs, earning it the nickname the Rose City. And the most famous structure there is the 45 High Al Khazne, which is also called the Treasury and I'm sure you've seen before. Now Petra gets quite busy so you want to be there early before 9am because that's where all the buses with the tourists come. And I recommend you to get off the beaten path. There's two trails off the beaten path that you can take. One of them is Wadi Al Farasa trail. It's very nice and you can have those caves for yourself if you're lucky. And another one is the Treasury Viewpoint Trail. Now this gives you a beautiful view over the treasury. So do it first thing when you get there very early, then you'll pretty much have it all for yourself like I had it. Second thing you don't want to miss in Jordan is the Dead Sea. Now the Dead Sea is the lowest point of dry land on earth at 431 meters below sea level, making for a fascinating natural wonder that no visitor to Jordan should miss. Now it's known for its exceptionally salty water, so I don't recommend you to drinking it or putting it in your eye. Now you can still float on your back while you put a mud bath on you, just as I said, just avoid getting it in your eyes. The third thing you don't want to miss in Jordan is Wadi Rum. Now Wadi Rum is an adventurous paradise, you know, golden sands, rock canyons, it's ideal for hiking, camel tours and even overnight stays in the desert camps. This land has been inhabited since prehistoric times and is really fascinating and you can meet Bedouins there. <laughs> It's a really really nice place to see and uh, if you've seen The Martian, the movie The Martian, it was actually filmed there so you can pretend you're walking around on Mars. When you're in Jordan you don't want to miss the Red Sea. Now Jordan might just have 26 kilometers off coastline but it's clear waters, balmy temperatures and historical sites which you can find in the Red Sea port Aqaba. It's ideal for like a beach holiday. Now it's close enough for day trips to the ancient wonders of Petra and the desert Wadi Rum and Aqaba also offers action-packed water sports, you know, lively markets, local restaurants, really good place to be and I recommend you to watch the, uh, the sunset in the harbor there is beautiful. When you're in Jordan you don't want to miss Amman, the capital, which you probably won't because you probably will arrive there if you come in by plane. Amman is a modern city with a lot of ancient ruins and there's 4 million people living there which is about 40% of Jordan. Now what you want to see is Al Balad, the old city and you know haggle your way along to Rainbow Street which invites visitors and locals to do something that's not always easy or possible in Jordan's crowded capital, just to walk. This city is built on hills and there's a lot of traffic so you want to be careful but it's nice to just get lost in the craziness. You can find a lot of old ruins there because it's such an old historic city which was occupied by the Romans. One thing you should go to see there is the Colosseum. Really beautiful and very well preserved, beautiful to look at and just you know enjoy the bustling city and the view from there. When you're in Jordan, you shouldn't miss the citadel in Amman. Now I know we have talked about Amman and that's point number five, but the citadel is number six because it's so special and it has to be its own point. Now the citadel is located on the highest hill in Amman and it's around 800 meters above sea level. So you have an incredible view over the city and it's particularly beautiful to watch during sunrise or sunset. Now it's an incredible archaeological site that counts many impressive buildings such as the Umayyad Palace built around 720 AD and also has the Temple of Hercules. So a lot of historical sites as well as a beautiful view you don't want to miss. When in Jordan you don't want to miss going to Jerash. Now Jordan hosts the largest and most compelling Roman site, the ancient city of Jerash, which is really really well preserved so you can get a good view and look at how people lived back in the Roman Empire. Now the main street is Colonnade Street which is really impressive to see and it's lined with columns on both sides paved with the original stones so it's really really cool especially if you're a history nerd like, like I am. You don't want to miss Wadi Mujab, I, I hope I pronounced it correctly. This is a canyon, often considered Jordan's very own Great Canyon. Now it stretches over 70 kilometers and there's a lot of things you can do, you know, hike, water sports, you know, crawl through the canyon. Really, really beautiful landscape and just, you know, for adventure seekers, really nice thing to see. Now the river flows into the Dead Sea and it's said that Moses even walked this canyon. So, you know, there's again history, but also for the adventure seekers, this is really nice.
When you're in Jordan, you don't want to miss visiting Mount Nebo, and it's the mount where it's believed Moses first saw the promised land. Because before, you know, it says that they walked through the desert, actually the Wadi Rum, for 40 years until Moses finally saw the promised land. Now this is close to the Dead Sea, so while you're there, you can hop to Mount Nebo to look at it, because it's also said that it's Moses' burial site. Pilgrims of all religions have traveled here since the 14th century, and visitors can now visit a small church with an astonishing display of preserved Byzantine mosaics. Now last thing what you don't want to miss while you're in Jordan is the baptism site of Jesus. Now Jesus was baptized in the river and this happened in Jordan. al Makta translates as the place of baptism and is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now the spot lies on the east bank of the river Jordan and 8 kilometers of the Dead Sea. So again, when you're at the Dead Sea, this is very nice to see while you're exploring the area.